Hey everyone, I'm back, and we're doing 15.5 still. I mean, I actually uh, wanted to continue on with 15.5 because I felt bad about doing the last problem because it was, to be honest, it was a little too easy. Um, that last problem uh, I did in 15.5 was actually uh, probably not enough uh, for you guys to do your homework or even, you know, study for an exam. So I decided, hey, why not? We'll just, we'll just spend some time doing another video uh, on 15.5. And you'll see why it's a little too easy uh, in a moment, but the problem I've chosen for now is 15.5 number 30, which, is, uh, which says the following. We have a region in the first octant bounded by the coordinate planes and the surface z, uh, z is equal to 4 minus x squared minus y squared. So since it's bounded by the coordinate planes, uh, I have then these three guys, x equals 0, y equals 0, z equals 0. And and then it's also bounded by the surface that's given to us in the problem, all right? And so now we need to figure out, right, if we want to figure out a triple integral, how do we set this integral up, and then how do we find the integral? So, and when we're setting it up, you'll quickly see why the previous video um, was a little easier than I had intended it to be. But I'm not going to delete it because, you know, it's already recorded, so whatever. Um, all right, so again, so how do we find uh, which way to integrate right because we want some triple integral dv and so we don't know if we want dx first dy and then dz or you know some other uh order uh to integrate in so we list the equations out right so for x we have x is equal to zero all right and then we have x squared is equal to all right so if i solve this equation for x squared i get four minus y minus z, right? But we want to only have a single x on the left-hand side, right? We don't want any squares. So then x is equal to plus or minus root 4 minus y minus z, all right? So then I'm going to erase the x squared guy, all right? So that's how I get that guy from here. And now, so that's it for x. Now let's look at y. Let's list all the equations for y. I have y equals 0. And then I solve that guy for y. So uh, moving y over to the left-hand side and moving z over, I get y is equal to 4 minus x squared minus z, okay? And then finally, let's solve our equation for z's, or, or list out our equations for z's. I have z equals 0, and then I just have the original surface expressed in terms of z, which is z, minus, uh, z equals 4 minus x squared minus y. So I've listed them out, and so now when I set up my triple integral, right, I have, you know, d something, d something, d something, um, and which order should they be in? Well, what shouldn't go first, right? So pause the video, make sure you know for sure what should not come, d what should never go first. Okay, so you should have thought about it for a little bit, but uh, we don't want dx, right? Because why, why not? Well, we have three equations for x, right? This guy here is really two equations because I have a plus and I have a minus sign. So dx has three equations, and we only got two uh, places to put equations in for x. So yeah, we don't want dx first. dx is bad. So now we go to dy, dz, and it really doesn't matter which one you put in first. But for learning purposes, okay, learning purposes only, I'm going to do dy first. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll do inter so we'll put dy first. And what do I have now? Well, now I have um, the integral right from zero to four minus x squared minus z. And how do I know that's the order? Well, it's because uh, if you're bounded in the first octant, uh, then the smallest value you can get is going to be zero. So then zero is always going to be your lower bound. So if you're in the first octant, at least, um, and Usually, uh, I mean, in some problems, they'll say you're, you're going to be in the first octant, and then you can use this trick. Um, otherwise, right, you just plug in values, and you'll see, oh, if x is 1 and z is 1, right, then uh, my y value is 2, well, that's certainly bigger than 0, okay? So, all right, so dy then will go first, and now we have to figure out, does dx go here or does dz go here? And then does dz go there or dx go there, right? So which order do I put the last two in? And this is where uh, the last problem was too easy because it, unless, in the last problem, it didn't matter, all right? In this problem, uh, it does matter. And why does it matter? Well, let's see. So how do you figure out where the last two variables go? So we painstakingly found the first one. Uh, we said it was dy, all right? So what, what are the last two? Well, what you have to do then is you have to draw the region in the x, z plane. So you have to take 
you have to take a moment and you have to draw a picture because now you have two variables and we're in the XZ plane. And how are you going to label the axes? Well, I'm just going to put X on its original axis and I'm going to put Z up here uh, on the vertical axis. All right. And this is a helpful way. Um, so when you have like the YZ plane, uh, I usually put the Y on the vertical axis and the Z on the horizontal axis. Um, just so I have one axis that I'm familiar with. All right? And in this case, X is going to be on the horizontal axis. And why am I in the XZ plane again? It's because I'm only left with two uh, remaining uh, integrals. right? And I have an X and have a Z, so let's look at it in the XZ plane. So what do I have? Well, I have X equals 0 and Z equals 0. So that means this guy, right? here's, Z equals, uh, here's X equals 0. <laughs> Whoops. And then now here's Z equals 0, which are the axes. All right, so I'm bounded by these guys, which means I'm going to be in this upper right-hand plane, right? And now what? Now I need to figure out what the hell to plot here, right? What, what in the world do I plot there? Well, we go over to our equations, and we look for any equations that have both an x and a z in them, all right? So it needs to have an x, and it needs to have a z. And which ones have an x and a z, right? Well, we don't want to look at the y guys, because we already, we already looked, we already we're already done with y. So if I look here, this guy has x and z's, right? And this guy has x and z's. But they also have y's, right? So now it's very tempting to be like, what do I do with the y's, right? Huh? Like, what, 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 what am I doing with the y's? Well, since you're already integrated with respect to y, right? We're in the xz plane, for heaven's sake. We're, we have no y's left. Um, you can just drop the y's. So Essentially, we want to plot z equals 4 minus x squared or x equals plus or minus root 4 minus z, right? That's, that's what we want to plot. We want to plot 4 minus x squared where x is equal to plus or minus root 4 minus z. Um, and we just drop the y's because, again, we already done integrating with y. We already took the y equations, right? We took the y equations and we put them in their bounds. So we don't need to, we need to, we don't need to deal with them anymore. The only thing we have to deal with now are x's and z's. So I, I'm just you just drop the y, all right? And then here's what we need to plot. And so what's easier to plot? Well, maybe it's easier to think about plotting that guy, right? Because these two are the same thing. These two equations are the exact same thing, all right? I hope you guys see that. They're the exact same thing. Square this bottom one, and you'll get the top one. Um, so z equals 4 minus x squared. What does that look like? Well, that looks like... Well, if you had y equals 4 minus x squared, we all know what that looks like, right? It's a paraboloid, a parabola opening downward like this, okay? And since now I'm in the xz plane and I'm bounded by these two guys, right? These, uh, these two lines, x equals 0 and z equals 0, then my region is going to be that region right here in the xz plane, all right? And now, 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 now I choose which way I want to integrate with respect to first. And here, now you can know, what, now you know, uh, here's now it's just a double integral and you just want to choose, I don't know, you choose whatever one you want. So for me personally, I think that, oh, uh, let's deal with the one that doesn't have a square root. So z equals 4 minus uh, x squared. And so let's go into the z direction first. So if I draw a thing through my region, right, you'll notice I hit the x-axis, which is z equals 0 first. So I'm going to do dz dx, right? So now I hit z is equal to 0 first. And then I hit the parabola right here. But what's the parabola? Well, the parabola is z is equal to 4 minus x squared, right? Or um, this is x is equal to positive 4 minus z. And then this side is x equal to negative uh, 4 minus, root 4 minus z. But again, we're, we're, we're going along dz right, dz, so you want the z equals equation, uh, not the x equals. So then I got z is equal to 4 minus x squared. All right. And now what do I want? Finally, I'm left with dx, and dx just goes from whatever the smallest value is to whatever the largest value is. And you'll see that this is 0, and this guy out here is going to be 2. So x goes from 0 to 2. And we're done setting up the problem. So yeah, this is this is actually the triple integral you want to evaluate. Um, this guy right here, 
And I encourage you guys to work that out. Um, to save some time, I'm not gonna evaluate this integral because you saw me evaluate an integral previously. And really, you guys should uh, get comfortable with evaluating your own integrals. But uh, what you should get as an answer, then you should get uh, 128 over 15 um, uh, as the correct answer to this problem. And again, I encourage you guys to work to set up this bounds on your own. Um, I also encourage you guys then to, I don't know, maybe fool around. Uh, try DZ first, right? Because uh, in the first step, we chose Y uh, simply because I said it was a learning uh, a learning experience because I wanted you guys to figure out uh, how to draw the XZ plane, all right? So again, why did I choose DY first? I just wanted you guys to have a learning experience on how to draw the XZ plane. It actually doesn't matter because if I chose DZ first, right? Look, Y and Z both have two equations, right? If I chose dz first, then you'll be left with dx dy, and then you would have to just draw the xy plane instead of the xz plane like you did over here. So again, I encourage you guys to set this uh, set this triple integral up with different orders. Uh, try dz. So try dz first uh, and see um, what you get. And then, yeah, and see if you can evaluate the integral to be 128 over 15. So that's going to be it for chapter 15, 5. Hopefully this video was more instructive um, than the previous one. They're both, they go hand in hand, so it's not like the previous one was wasted at all. And in the next video, I'm still trying to bring myself to do some moments in center of mass stuff. I don't know if I will, but uh, we'll see uh, if we do 15, 6.